Progress test, file 6 to 10, listening 1. Speaker 1. I have about 350 dolls, and they even have their own room. I've picked them up over the years in the various places I've visited, and even though they're not worth lots of money or anything, I'm really proud of my collection. I love it when other collectors travel a long way just to admire mine. That's the best feeling, and I think it's something only fellow collectors understand. Speaker 2 Our living room's full of our local pottery. It's famous all over the world, and I feel so proud that it comes from our little town. It's pretty plain, but each piece costs quite a bit. I don't mind all that, though, because it really looks great in our cabinet, and everyone admires it. Speaker 3 Well, I've lived all over the place due to my father's job. And when I was little, I started collecting postcards, one from everywhere I lived or had a vacation. I have hundreds of them now, and they're all nicely filed in albums. Taking them out to show my friends is not really my thing, but every time I look at them, all those wonderful memories come flooding back like I was in some of those places just yesterday. And that's a special thing. Speaker 4 I collect old cameras, and I have about 80 of them now. Some of them are still in perfect working order, so... In theory, you could take some great photos with them, I suppose. What's most satisfying for me, though, is the fact that several of these cameras were almost impossible to find. But I didn't give up and got my hands on them eventually. Speaker 5 I've been collecting stamps since I was in elementary school, and I have 1,000 now. Some people think it's a really boring thing to do, but I think it's great. I'm really happy with the fact that I have so many unusual stamps because they're not easy to get your hands on. And best of all, I'll be laughing all the way to the bank because this collection's apparently now worth a small fortune and it'll go up even more.